What's up and welcome back to the last form tutorial before we move on to form validation. Um, in this tutorial we are going to go over the last few um, form elements that we haven't touched yet. I'm going to show you uh, how to use jump menus, uh, file fields, and hidden fields, oh, and also uh, text areas and field sets. Um, I know that sounds like a lot, but uh, I think I think that uh, you guys will be able to to keep up. So, first off, let's uh, let's talk a little bit about some organization. Um, field sets, or are think of it like a box that you wrap around different. Uh, different groups of input uh, objects so say you know you have a group of text fields or you know a group of uh, radio buttons with a menu inside of it and some more text fields and you want to wrap that in a field set because it's going to tell you okay this is where you put your address this is where you put your school information so let's just let's build one and then you'll see what I'm talking about alright so we're going to click on field set over here. I just clicked on field set in the insert group. And I'm going to call this I'm going to call this file because we're getting ready to input a file in a second. So what you can see is it created a field set tag and a legend tag. So I'm going to save that and I'm going to go over here and I'm going to click on text area. And what a text area is actually I take that back I'm gonna click on file field and what a file field is is you know whenever you're like making a, a photo gallery or like uploading a uh, what do you call it you know you're uploading something to Facebook where you an album you're gonna make an album in Facebook and you gotta upload your files well you, the way you do that is to insert the file uh, using a file field. So let's call this one picture. And let's just leave the size alone. Uh, it doesn't really matter that much for this particular example. And we're going to say OK. And with that little bit of uh, all, all we really typed there was picture. We clicked on file field and typed in picture. And now we have a form item that allows us to upload files. It doesn't have to be a picture. See, we've created our field set here, and it wrapped it around this box. And inside there, we have a file field. And you click Browse, and it's just like use like normal files. You just upload it once you click Submit. So that is the first two things I wanted to show you in this tutorial. The next thing is going to be the Jump menu. So let's create another field set. Um, We'll call this one jump menu because that's exactly what it is going to be. And I'm going to give some space here. I'm going to click inside the field set. And I'm going to insert a jump menu. What a jump menu is, is it's almost like a menu of links. Um, basically, it's a drop down menu. And whenever you click on an item inside that menu it takes you to the link that you predefine inside of the menu items so for example this item right here and the first I'm gonna add a couple so we can uh, make some some menu items and some jump menus here alright so we have item one and I'm gonna leave that one I'm gonna say select a site and I'm going to give it a number sign that way whenever you click on it it's not going to go anywhere it's just going to stay out in the site that you're on at the moment alright and for the second one I'm going to give it a link uh, a name or text of Google and make sure you put HTTP in front of it so it doesn't uh, think that you're actually trying to locate the file in your current uh, file structure and then I'm going to click on the item. I'm just going to get, I'm going to say Facebook for this text right here. Right? And uh, you get the idea. There we go. It says open URLs in main window. And I'm just going to leave these two blank right here. I'm going to say OK. And so I'm going to launch this. You guys can check it out. 
and it's telling you to select a site. Okay, I'm going to select Google. Well, that's going to take me to Google. I'm going to select Facebook. It's going to take me to Facebook. So now we've checked out file fields, we've checked out field sets, and we have also checked out jump menus. And the last thing that we're going to look at before we move on to form validation in the next series of tutorials is we are going to look at the text area. Uh, I know it sort of goes back a little bit. Um, we've already we already made our application uh, in a, a few a few tutorials ago where we uh, we dealt with text input, and we are about to do the same thing on a little different level. So I'm going to you know since we're we're dealing with field sets uh, we're doing field sets in this example so I'm going to create one last field set and I'm going to call it text area say okay and inside this field set I'm going to insert from the insert group over here to the left I'm going to click on text area and what a text area is is basically a large text field um, you can set the rows and columns as you see here in this window I'm, I'm gonna call this one large text field I'm gonna give it I'm gonna give it 20 columns I'm gonna give it five rows I'm gonna say I'm gonna leave the rapid the default say okay and now we have created a text area so let's launch this and let's check it out inside the browser. So you see now we have a text area we can just continue to type text as long as we want. Keep on typing. It's even going to wrap when I keep typing. So we can just keep typing all day long inside that. And um, so yeah, that's it for this tutorial. And that is it for the basic form elements. Uh, if you're still following this, um, the the fun part is about to is about to be validating all this stuff yeah we have all these all these objects inside of our form but we have no way to tell if if they're legit you know if the people are putting in the information if the users putting in uh, the data it could be it could be wrong say if they're putting in an email uh, it could be it could be wrong it could not be the right I guess the right form and uh, we can use um, spry validation um, straight inside Dreamweaver. Dream, you can see these over here um, and that's what we're going to go through in the next tutorials so uh, make sure and stay tuned make sure and keep watching uh, and I hope to see you in the next tutorial uh, don't forget to subscribe and see you in a minute